and welcome to craft time! This week we did a story time all about jobs. We talked about all the different things that you could be when you grow up. A doctor or a builder or a scientist. Oh, there are so many different jobs you could have. So we are going to do one craft today. We are going to be making some mailboxes and then you get to deliver mail. Maybe you can make one for each of your family members and deliver letters to everyone. That would be fun. And then after that, we are going to put on our thinking caps and we're going to put on our pretend science coats and we're going to turn into scientists and do four fun science experiments. You are going to need help from mom or dad for the last four experiments, so make sure you get them, and then you can have fun! Let me tell you everything that you're going to need today. For our mailbox craft, you are going to need a box or multiple boxes if you want to make more than one mailbox. And then you are going to need an assortment of things. You might want some construction paper, some markers, some paint, or some tape and I'll show you all the different ways that we can make our mailboxes. For the first experiment, you are going to need a bowl, some cornstarch, and some water. For our second experiment, you are going to need some oil, some syrup, and some water. For our third experiment, you are going to need some vinegar, some baking soda, and then something to put them in, and be careful because this experiment can get a little bit messy, so you might want to do it outside. For our final experiment, you are going to need a container that we're going to fill with water. I'm just using this one right here. And then you are going to collect a whole bunch of things from around your house that can go in the water, and we're going to see if they sink or they float. We are going to make our mailboxes first. Now, there are a few different ways that we can do it. The first way is that we can paint them. Now, the only thing with this part is that since boxes, a lot of food boxes like this one, have lots of different pictures and colors and words, sometimes it might take many coats of paint to cover it up. So this is, I think I've done three coats on this one so far, and I think I'm going to need to add one more coat of paint. There are two other ways that we can do it though, if you don't want to put on many, many coats of paint. The other way is to use some construction paper, just like we did a few weeks ago when we made our binoculars. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our box and we are going to start by taping the top of it closed. So I'm going to take some tape right here and I am going to tape it closed. And then we are going to tape our construction paper on. So I will start with this piece of paper. piece of tape just like I'm wrapping a present. Okay, and once your mailbox is all covered in construction paper, then you can decorate it. You can color with markers or add some stickers. I think I am going to write on mine. I'm going to write mail on it. to do this part. And then you have a little mailbox that you can put letters in or maybe your friends or your family can put letters in for you. And there's one more way that we can do this. So if you have a box like this, what we can do is we can take it apart. So you gotta be pretty gentle with this, but it's okay if it rips a little bit because we, we can tape it or glue it. And we're gonna take it apart so it's nice and flat like this and then we can open it even more. 
until it's one flat piece like this. Just like this. And then what we can do is we can put it back together inside out. And so what we'll do is we'll add a little bit of glue right here. So we're going to add some glue. is a super duper fun one. This is probably one of my favorite ones and it's super easy to do because all you're going to do is you're going to get a container like this or a bowl, anything you have, and you're just going to add some cornstarch. I got this cornstarch from the dollar store. You can add as much as you'd like and then you're going to take some water and you're going to add a little bit of water at a time and then mix it up. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. You don't want it to be too liquidy, but you also don't want it to be too hard. Now if it gets too tricky to mix with a spoon, then you're gonna want to go in with your hands. All right, and then when you have enough water in it, you're gonna get this interesting little substance. Now, what's really cool about this is that it looks just like liquid, doesn't it? But you can pick it up and you can form it into a bowl. But when you stop moving it, it melts again. So when you're playing with it, it's hard like a solid like a play-doh but when you stop playing with it it gets soft and liquidy like glue or water so why don't you get some cornstarch and some water and try it for yourself this next experiment is a great way for you to see how density works so we're going to take three different liquids and we're going to pour them into this cup right here. And we're going to see 
how they layer differently. So usually when you pour things in together, you'll expect it to be all mixed up. But let's see what happens when we pour some syrup into this water. Let's see where it goes. Does it mix in with the water? No, as you can see, the syrup went straight to the bottom because it's heavier than the water. Now, what if we put some oil in it? What do you think will happen to the oil? Let's see, do you think it's gonna go below the syrup and water, in between it, or on the very top? Let's see. those bubbles are gonna pop and then we can see that the oil went on top so you have syrup which is the most dense you have water which is the medium density and you have oil which is the least dense which means it is the lightest and it goes on top <gasps> look at that so why don't you collect some different liquids and pour them into a cup and see which one is the heaviest and which one is the lightest. All right, for this experiment, it's kind of like a volcano. So sometimes people use this to make little pretend volcanoes. This one can get slightly messy. So I put mine in this container. You might want to do yours outside instead. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take some baking soda and you're going to put it in a little cup. There, you don't need to have a lot. Just like that. And then we're gonna add some vinegar. So I have some vinegar right here and we're gonna see what happens, ready? because there's a reaction between the baking soda and the vinegar. Try it yourself. This science experiment is super duper easy because all you're going to need is a container full of water and then some stuff that you find around your house. So I went around my house and I made sure to find stuff that is allowed to go in water and we're gonna see which of this stuff will float in the water and which will sink. So before you put something in the water, I want you to stop and think, hmm, is this one gonna float or is it gonna sink? So for example, let's start with, I have a popsicle stick. What do we think that's gonna do, float or sink? Let's see. And it floated. Let's try another one. How about a metal fork? Let's see. Oh, that one sunk. Now, what about a plastic fork? Do we think that one's going to sink just like that metal one? Let's see. No, that one floated. Now it's your turn. I want you to find a whole bunch of stuff that's allowed to go in the water and you can see whether it sinks or if it floats. You can also do this one outside, maybe if you have a small pool, or maybe even in the bathtub. Try it for yourself!